All right, Akim. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Yahweh, Yahweh means he is. And Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly knows as Jesus Christ, means he a uh, savior. All right, so he is. He's going to send his the son, the savior, to deliver the elect of you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, and um, and those scattered throughout the other nations, out of hell. All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for uh, spreading the good news through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and uh, Shalom to the elect. And this is Sirach thirty-seven and uh, thirteen. And let the counsel of thy own heart stand. For there is no more, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. For a man's mind is sometimes wont to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above a high tower. And above all this, pray to the most high that he will direct thy way in truth. Okay? Because what we see now. All right, and what we hear, you know, is constant fear. You see people afraid. You see people, you know, talking about going to get tested. You hear fear in the news. This person died. That person died. This many people died. You know, there's more rules and regulations to safety now. Our lives um, today, when you in this out in this world, out and about, is nothing but fear, fear, fear. So this is why we have to pray until Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai um, to conquer uh, this devil, because this devil, the so-called white man, the one who rules the world, the one who, uh, you know. Throws the rock in the water, so to speak. You know, um, spiritually, you know, looking at it, throwing, if, when you throw a rock in the water, you know, or like if you ever go to the beach, if you look out, you notice you have a boat going back and forth to create the waves. So that's what Esau is doing. He's he he's creating the waves, you know, uh, you know, pushing fear out there and watching the ripple effect, watching the ripple effect. Salaki, watching the ripple effect. And although, you know, we understand the word, we know the word, um, that which is, you know, what you hear and see that affects you, you mentally. So this is why we have to pray that the Most High directs our way in truth. Okay. And what is directing our way in truth? Knowing that the Lord is going to protect us. All right. Knowing that the Lord is going to protect us. You know, prayer actually, it prepares you um, for what's to come as well. As Yahweh Shai said, watch ye and pray. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So the flesh succumbs to that which it sees, that what it hears, that which it tastes. You know, but the spirit is... is, is uh, is um tuned in with the Lord. It wants to be tuned in with the Lord. All right. So being that, especially for you, Akim, that's still working out there, about out and about, we have to pray that much more. Being as Esau's witchcraft is that is being pushed out that much more. Okay. Pray over your food. Pray that your Hashem Yahweh Shai gets you back home safely. Pray before you go to sleep. Pray when you get home. Okay, pray over your loved ones, you know, brothers may have kids, pray over your kids, constantly pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, as the uh, worldly saying goes as well, uh, proper preparation prevents poor performance, and as Akin been going into, you know, the Most High is testing 
And more more so in these last days, he's going to test us to see if we are of that fine gold, to see if we truly trust in him. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs 16. And I'll start at the top. The preparations of the heart and man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord weigheth the spirits. All right. So it's all according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and how he thinks of you. All right. Are you fearful in these times? You know, are you rejoicing in these times? Are you maintaining your integrity with the Lord in these times? You know, as Akin was going into brothers that are laid off, you know, because that's another thing, brothers that are laid off. All right, you're fearing, uh, you know, how I'm going to pay this bill, how I'm going to pay that bill. You know. You know, just another another thing to weigh on us. Which that's actually a scripture too. It says, um, let me see, the heart. I think... The heart music. I can't think of that scripture right now, but it basically speaks about how the heart ponders upon many things. All right. But uh, anyway, let's go back to the precept in Proverbs 16 and 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. There you go. All right, when you look up the word establish, we could look, do a quick search real quick. The word establish means kawan, and that's, it means kawan in the Hebrew. Quick prayer, Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai kawan labya, the water, the mya, tawab. Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, kawan, establish, labya, my heart. Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, Bab Kusha, the water, thank you. Thumb yard, always, to why? Because you consider it done. Okay. This is, let's get Isaiah. Twenty-six and three. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. The word peace means completeness, soundness, welfare. Welfare, health, prosperity, peace, quiet, tranquility, contentment. You know? And, and, and um, you know, a sound mind is um as the scriptures say, let's see, let's just grab it. Actually, I think this is a rock 26. Or well, might be 25. 25 and 13. The water you how about stream I was shy. Actually, I'll start at uh 25. And 10. Uh, 25 and 9. Well is him that have found prudence. And he that speaketh in the ears of them that will hear. 
you know, and when you look at when um when you think about the word prudent, this scripture say in Proverbs, I want to say fourteen and fifteen, the prudent man perceiveth the evil and hideth himself. All right, how do you hide yourself? You hide yourself in the Lord. Well, it's him that have found prudence. Because a, a man of a man that's prudent is a man that studies so that he can prepare it for what's to come. You know? He studies his enemies. He studies himself. Or oh how great is he that findeth wisdom. Yet is there none above him that feareth the Lord. But the love of the Lord passeth all things for illumination. He that holdeth it, where to shall he be likened? And, you know, in these darkest hours, for some brothers that make it tortured or beheaded, Esau will, Esau is going to try you. Esau is going to try all of us. Don't get me wrong. But he wants the men of the Lord. I was watching this movie called Unthinkable yesterday. And it was about this guy who was a Muslim. And, you know, he, he made a video about how he created these three uh, nuclear bombs and set them throughout different parts of America. And he was basically getting tortured. He was basically getting tortured um by... He was basically getting tortured by this private contractor, this guy who's known to, you know, be the best at his job, be the best at torturing. And he couldn't crack this guy. And one thing I noticed is that, um, you know, when they was trying to figure out why he won't, why he won't talk, why he won't talk, you know, after all the torture he's been through, is the guy who was actually doing the torturing, the guy, um, his name is, uh, Famous actor, uh, damn, I forget his name. The, the uh, the one who's working with John Travolta on uh, Pulp Fiction, I forgot his name. But anyway, he said, "Don't you get it? You know, to the because you know it was when you watch the movie, it shows you how Esau plays the good cop, bad cop type thing. One does the torturing, all right, and then you'll have another cop who they're actually working together to come in and soothe things over." You know, pressure from above, pressure from below type thing. You know, so here it is. You know, the woman, you know, the one who comes to soothe him over, you know, to massage him or, you know what I'm saying? uh, Try to get into his head, you know, to, to give him to give to give him to give up the locations of the bombs. You know, the other guy, you know, the one who's doing the torturing, he's saying, don't you get it? He planned for this. He knew. What he did, and he put himself in a situation, you know. So, hey man, we like the brothers always say, man, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. So it says, Well, it's him that have found prudence, and he that speaketh in the ears of them that will fear. Oh, how great! Oh, Samuel Jackson, that's who it was. It says, oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom, yet is there none above him that feareth the Lord. But the love of the Lord passeth all things for illumination. He that holdeth it, where to shall he be likened? You know, and according to Hebrews 11, you're going to be likened as of the elect. You're you of the elect because... The elect, when you read in, in the uh, scriptures, you had going into that uh, being tortured. Some men were sown asunder, said, let me just grab that. I got to grab it. Towards the end, let me see. Hebrews 10 and 32. And what shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets. 
who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, and out of weakness were made strong, and um and uh were valiant in fight. Makes me think of when you go into the book of Maccabees, you had Judas Maccabean and his brethren always at odds, you know, to where it was almost, it was basically like a, you know, when brothers watched the movie 300, you know, you had 300 men ready for war against thousands and they were afraid of those 300 men. And every, and many times before they went to war, they prayed to the heavenly father. So it says, women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourges, scourgings, yet moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder. They were cut in two. I believe um, Isaiah was actually cut in two. It was were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and, and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report, you know, a good witness, What's that word goes into martureo? Sounds like martyr. All right. And um, that that uh, verse 38 proves that John the Baptist is a man of the Lord. It says, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. <laughs> so now let's go back to, what was I? So Rock 30, uh, 25 and 12. I'll start back at 11. But the love of the Lord passeth all things for illumination. He that holdeth it, where to shall he be likened? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. And any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me. It's like, yeah, I, I skipped the point. The point was in uh, verse 13. Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. All right. So we don't want any plague, but the plague of the heart, because the plague of the heart separates you from the heavenly father. You know, fear can... Um, be a plague of the heart, you know, a plague of, you know, what you actually know to be true. Like it says in, I believe the, yeah, the apostle Ramla brought this out in one of his lessons. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 4, uh, no, I think it was, I want to say 7, no, I guess it wasn't 17. 17 and 12, okay. Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 12, for fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors which reason offereth. So you're not thinking, you don't think, you don't, you forget what you know to be true and take hold on the lies. And that's what Esau uh, thrives in. He thrives on lies. You know, it's just some quick in the spirit. You know, we have to pray more. We have to pray a lot more, man. You know, Yahweh Ba'ashimi Ha'washah Barak Yah. Yahweh Ba'ashimi Ha'washah Baba Kushah Baba Kushah. Baba Kusha, make haste to deliver me. Baba Kusha, you know, when them demons is piling up on your mind, make haste to deliver me. Baba Kusha, the water, the yard to up. You know, Psalms 121. I lift up my eyes from what's coming from my help. My help coming from the Lord. Psalm 61 is a, a prayer for being overwhelmed. That's a good one, too. Let's see if I can grab it for you, Akim. Uh, Yeah. 
You know, it's a good prayer for, you know, Akim that's being overwhelmed, you know. I hold it there so brothers could take a screenshot or whatever. You know, hey, so with that, you know, Lord willing, you Akim will edify. Shalom to the elect.